The restaurant industry is particularly vulnerable during economic downturns. This time is no different. Managing a restaurant is a tough task and many of our beloved chains have disappeared over the years. Many of our viewers were shocked to find that even some of the biggest chains out there, including McDonald's, Burger King, and Starbucks, are shuttering multiple locations this year. That's why we've decided to list other major chains that are facing mounting challenges this year or have been at serious risk of going under for years and are now being threatened by the ongoing recession. From Taco Bell to Chip Hartley and even Red Lobster, no chain is immune to the retail apocalypse. And you should stay with us to check out if your favorite restaurant's on the list. But before moving on, we kindly ask you to support our work with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our upcoming lists. Without further ado, here are 15 big restaurant chains that are falling apart in 2023. 1. Red Lobster Since its opening in 1968, Red Lobster has been serving up fresh lobster baskets of Cheddar Bay biscuits and endless shrimp platters for Americans all over the country. Even though the chain prides itself on affordable seafood for everyone, the restaurant has struggled significantly in recent years and has shuttered several once successful locations. The seafood joint had over 700 restaurants in 2021, but since then over 50 locations have closed their doors for good. The trend is expected to continue in 2023. The Thai Union Group, which owns Red Lobster, said the closures have been necessary for the health of the company. We regularly review our restaurant portfolios, a Red Lobster spokesperson told Restaurant Business Online. As a result, we have concluded that these locations are no longer viable for Red Lobster. 2. Hard Rock Cafe Having opened its doors to the public in 1971, Hard Rock Cafe is one of the oldest fast casual dining chains in the world. The company also owns a number of cafes, hotels, and casinos, but its restaurants are sadly closing a lot of locations in recent years. According to CBS News, several locations in Texas, California, and Massachusetts have been shuttered since 2020. Jim Allen, chairman of Hard Rock International, recently warned about ongoing economic challenges and hinted that more closings could be coming in 2023. 3. Applebee's Applebee's has been in business since 1980. For decades, the restaurant chain was a success, but over time, several financial problems have started to arise. Since 2015, Sales have continued to slow and the company even tried different methods to attract customers, such as healthier options, a new delivery method, late night, half app savings, and even one dollar festive cocktails. Unfortunately, none of these moves have really paid off and in recent years, the restaurant chain has closed over 120 locations all across the US. At least two dozen of Applebee's restaurants are scheduled to close in the coming months as a result of low profits and expansion plans not seeing enough success. The parent company, Dine Brands, anticipates that more shutdowns will be announced before the year's end as executives work closely with franchisees to try to improve Applebee's financial health. 4. Sabaro This famous pizza chain has been around for more than two decades, becoming very popular at shopping malls during its boom days. However, Sabaro is falling behind other big competitors, especially because shopping malls are becoming a thing of the past, and the company doesn't offer any type of delivery service for its customers. Since 2004, Sabaro has closed over half its restaurants in America. Their revenue has continued to decline as years have gone by, and recently the cost of everything that goes into a pizza, including flour, tomato, cheese, sausages, pepperoni, and more, has seen a significant increase, which has led the Sabaro people to pass these costs on to their customers. However, shoppers have been complaining about a drop in the quality of its products and higher prices resulted in even lower sales for the chain. 
Because it doesn't keep up with new trends and consumers' shifting preferences, experts at MASH predict that the company's restaurants won't stay open for much longer. 5. Hooters Hooters will celebrate its 40th year in 2023, but retail analysts are unsure whether the chain will still be alive by the end of this decade. Over the years, the company has invested a lot of money in ventures that have failed, including the Hooters Casino Hotel in Las Vegas, which lost millions of dollars and is teetering near bankruptcy since 2019. More than 7% of its total retail footprint has been shuttered. The brand even tried to rename some of its locations to Hoots and started dressing the waitresses more conservatively to adapt to what it thought customers wanted. But its biggest problem has been the lack of stability in management and the constant changes in ownership over short periods of time. Every time a new buyer took over the company, they had to focus on restoring operations and regaining profitability, instead of thinking about what would be Hooters' next move and how the chain would differentiate itself from other major competitors. According to data shared by Eat This Not That, Hooters had around 430 units at its peak a decade ago. By the fall of 2022, only 318 stores were still open and at the beginning of 2023, that figure had fallen further to just 308 Hooters restaurants in the United States. 6. The Cheesecake Factory Known as one of the most popular fast casual dining franchises in America, the Cheesecake Factory has seen the cost of ingredients and labor spike over the past few years. In contrast, sales have been flatlining and the impact of the pandemic on its balance sheet is still causing some major financial repercussions for the company. Founded in 1972, the Cheesecake Factory has just celebrated its 50th anniversary, but since its opening, 38% of its locations have been permanently closed, with 10% of them going dark over the last three years alone. That's certainly a bad sign for the dessert diner, which is losing millions in earnings from the closures. 7. Buffalo Wild Wings The famous sports bar and chicken restaurant is the latest victim of the retail apocalypse. With 1,333 locations countrywide in 2019, only 1,240 are still standing in 2023. Some of the 93 closures were linked to the chicken shortage that gripped much of the country since 2021 as well as underperformance and rising labor costs. On top of that, the chain recently raised its prices to offset higher operational costs and financial losses. But after the increase, many of its franchisees saw a decline in business. Over the past 12 months, its retail footprint has continued to shrink, with restaurants in Colorado, Illinois, Florida, and Virginia closing doors for good. 8. IHOP IHOP has operated successfully for about 64 years. Founded in 1958, the chain has changed its menus frequently to cater for changing tastes, but still, it couldn't keep up with customers' demands. Since the pandemic, things have drastically changed for the brand. Over 200 restaurants were shuttered, and one of its biggest franchisees, CFRA Holdings, went bankrupt. Now another 40 branches are on the company's chopping block. They're located in South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia, according to the Daily Mail. Recently, the chain also had to make some significant cuts to its mania to save on costs. Analysts think that its old-fashioned casual dining format may be too unappealing for new customers, which may accelerate IHOP's demise. 9. Taco Bell it's safe to say that Americans aren't happy about Taco Bell's latest price increases, and that is taking a toll on the chain's business. To make things worse, on its app, some items are 25% more expensive than at its restaurants. Social media is filled with customers' complaints about how high prices have gotten at its locations in the last couple of years. But Taco Bell still remains a pop culture symbol in America. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean they're safe from going bankrupt. In fact, there have been quite a few health concerns within the company, but they don't seem to be working on solving this at the moment. 
Recently, the company shuttered a dozen locations without much notice, and experts in the sector believe this is a very troubling sign for the chain that has spent years growing and evolving. 10. TGI Fridays According to the Daily Mail, the international restaurant chain TGI Fridays, been around since the 1960s, may be on the brink of disappearing forever. In the past few years, it was announced that the company would close as many as 20% of its 386 locations. Closures have continued into 2023, with Massachusetts and Texas announcing they would be shuttering their doors permanently in the last month. Right now, there are just 289 TGI Fridays in the United States, down from 380 in 2020. 11. Subway Subway has seen many ups and downs throughout its time in the industry. At one point, it was considered a healthy alternative due to its superior marketing campaigns. But soon, people realized that the ingredients Subway uses in their sandwiches aren't as healthy as they seem. Subway began shutting down its locations in 2014, and by 2018, 1,100 of its locations were closed. Despite being the largest restaurant chain in the U.S., Subway has closed 25% of its branches over the past five years alone, and new reports reveal that over 500 locations have gone dark in the past 12 months. On top of all that, Subway's future's in jeopardy. The sandwich chain is considering selling its business as it faces worsening financial difficulties, and that's according to the Wall Street Journal. 12. Boston Market In the 1990s, the company experienced its glory days with over 1,200 locations in the U.S. But Boston Market is now down to just 330 restaurants. Once famous for serving rotisserie chicken, the dish's availability in supermarkets across the country has caused the restaurant's position in the market to become questionable. In 2021, labor shortages put pressure on workers and led to an employee walkout, Insider reported, which resulted in the closure of 10% of all stores. We must take steps to ensure our operational structure will support long-term sustainability, CEO Francis Allen said in a letter at the time. Part of that effort involves continuously analyzing our geographic footprint and real estate portfolio to assess the ongoing viability of locations. 13. Benihana The iconic restaurant chain was founded in 1964 by Hiroaki Aoki and became a huge hit in the U.S. in the 1990s and early 2000s. It offers Japanese cuisine, served tableside, and the interactive experience was something that helped the chain to keep its popularity over the years. Sadly, it seems like consumers gradually lost interest in the chain. Today, only 76 locations remain open, and the company is considered a dying brand. 14. Chipotle Despite being a huge hit amongst the young on TikTok, the company's struggles precede its recent internet fame. According to Opsef, Chipotle has been suffering greatly for years. Declining revenue, weaker than expected financial results, and slowing growth are just a few of the company's problems. If you love this chain, show them your support because 65 locations have already been closed and about 50 others may be gone for good by early 2024. 15. Pizza Hut Pizza Hut used to be the biggest and most popular restaurant chain in the United States. People went there for family nights out, dates, birthday parties, and quick lunches. But nowadays, people would rather go to an Italian restaurant instead and treat themselves to a high-quality meal. Now, Pizza Hut only does takeout, and 450 of its locations are being shuttered for good. Restaurants are some of the businesses that face the hardest times during economic recessions. When conditions get harder for everyday Americans, some of the things they immediately forego is their usual trip to their local restaurant as they try to save on costs to be able to get by. 
many chains won't survive the storm that's coming. And unfortunately, this means we may have to say goodbye to our favorite diners, pizza chains, and casual restaurants in the months ahead. If your favorite chain has made it into this list, you should probably visit their location soon, because the truth is that we never know if the next time will be the last. Thank you for watching.